All right, uh, welcome back. My name is David Gawler. I've got seven years corporate IT experience, um, certified in Microsoft Linux, Unix, Lotus, uh, IBM, and Mile 2 certifications you know, for later this year. So I'm going to have a go at um, doing an advanced IP scan today and um, see what um, hosts are out there on the network. Uh, I've actually got a um, 10 uh, 0.0.0.1 .0 .0 .0 address, which is a class A address and I'm going to be scanning a range of um, IP addresses and see what hosts I can um, find out there on, on my own network. Uh, I've actually got a, a few devices, so a bit of luck it's going to uh, find a, a uh, printer I've got on the uh, IP printer I've got on the um, network so and a router as well and a number of other virtual machines. Um, and maybe my operating system running now and a couple other devices as well. Uh, I've run this a uh, number of times, but um, the best um, I found a um, IP advanced scanner, advanced IP scanner, and it's from uh, RA or R admin. I assume that would um, say remote admin. <laughs> Uh, but uh, this one's particularly free, that's why I've um, chosen this one to use. And it's, I guess it's, uh, you can go to uh, install it, raadmin.com or raadmin.com. And we're going to do an example here and go just uh, 10.0.0.1 0.10.0.0.10 So it's going to start the scan at number 1, 10.0.0.1 and it's going to scan through to find what hosts are out there on the local network, 10.0.0.10 uh, .10. So um, if you have more than 10 devices on your network then you would have to put in say 10.10.54 or um, you could have 1 through to 10.5 5.4 on the same subnet and this uh, class is a class A subnet so let's click on scan and see what it can find it does take a little while the um, advanced IP scan but it's not too long considering it's going out there and uh, hitting on each uh, computer device or um, host on the network so Bit of luck, it's going to find the number of um, hosts with the valid IP address, and we can send the 10.0.0.1. And it's already found one. It's got my PC, and it's got 10.0.0.2, and the MAC address. And it actually has found the printer, which is 10.0.0.1, and the printer's MAC address 68 colon B5 colon 99 colon. 53 colon 7c colon 3e colon is a typical uh, MAC address and it's actually only found uh, two it's actually um, only found two devices on the network at the moment so uh, that's a bit strange but I've actually got more on the network but those devices much must be uh, turned off um, you can also see what ports are running, open ports are running through this program, Advanced IP Scanner. Uh, but for now, we're just going to purely solely focus on the scanning of IP addresses. Um, ports is a different number, um, web services. Um, just for uh, the printer's sake, I guess, it's a port running HTTP, which is a web service. Um, that's generally port 80. Uh, so you could go to the web browser and point your browser to the printer 10.0.0.1 uh, .0 and you would locate the printer's web control panel administration panel. Uh, you could do this all manually but this little uh, tool advanced IP scanner a GUI uh, program is a lot simpler to use than typing out a thousand commands in the DOS prompt or Linux Unix prompt uh, but I'll do a short video on the next uh, presentation about doing it manually on the computer which is a Linux machine or we can do it on the Windows machine as well just as simple. Uh, we're going to use a mmap and the ping command to try and find out our IP address and web services that are running or 
support services, I should say, running on the network. Uh, so basically, all you have to do is select the range of the um, ports um, or IP address uh, 10.0.0.1 dash 10.0.0.10, and this will scan through to one through to uh, IP address 10, and it'll basically connect to each host and bring back a response to your computer through this program, Advanced IP Scanner. I uh, hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial and hope you have a nice day. Thanks for viewing. Thank you.